Wandering Winder here with some more Dominion. Do, 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 do. Okay. So Groundskeeper is a big deal here. There isn't really much thinning. I'm gonna want to go Enchantress. I'd like to get crop rotation going. Um, I think. Actually, there isn't much thinning. Maybe the Groundskeeper... I don't know. I'm gonna do this. And I'm going to take another Enchantress now. You hit crop rotation very quickly. Let's let's try to build up a bit. Villages and... Village, <laughs> that particular village does not work well with crop rotation, but okay. Uh, I think there is enough stuff here that I'm, I want to build. Um, as kind of annoying as it is. Uh, okay. So let's take... Sure. I'd really like to hit six, but I don't really want to add more silvers. I just want to add more draw. So like an oracle, a village, some... Whoa! Counting house? Take the Oracle now, I guess. Take another... I could need a normal village. Maybe I don't need one, but... What is the counting house is for some seller beggar thing? I don't... I mean, maybe. Maybe that can work. I'm pretty dubious, though. Seller, seller, and you know, your other enchantress, sure. Pitch those. Keep those. Keep those. Keep those. Maybe we can pick up... Do I really want to play both Enchantresses right now? Mm. I'm gonna say no. That's one way to use a Counting House. I don't really believe in what you're doing. Um, so I need to pick up a Market Square... Guess we'll do now. That was a pretty bad turn. We'll leave the carriage down this turn, probably. I only need one market square for quite a while. I don't. I shouldn't need more. Um, but yeah, we're gonna need some amount of sellers. Is probably fine, but three seems like a lot. You get your counting house in here, great for you. Um, but it's like, okay, it's terminal plus five money. Unless you're like going to trigger after, but that seems like a lot of work to do. Like net, you play three sellers in the counting house. The counting house draws you five cards. You, you've you made a, a moat, right? Because <laughs> this is minus a card, minus a card, minus a card, plus four net plus three, and this is terminal. Now, of course, it's a little more complicated than that, but somehow I don't really believe in it. Um, Oracle, Mountain Village, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, let's pick this one and end our actions. I don't want to call the carriage on that. Let's take is it greedy to take another Oracle here? Probably is. Let's be greedy anyway. Okay. I 
guess you do have a bit of a bigger starting hand for these sellers. You have one more seller you can play or not because you want to play this market square, yeah. Okay. I mean, this is an interesting contraption my opponent has built here. And it's kind of working for them. The big increased hand size from the crop rotation. And they could even play on here after the counting house if they have enough village. Okay. You doesn't matter whether you top deck that or not, right? No, wait, it did matter. Did it? Discard, you draw one, two, no, it doesn't matter. Gold. And another market square? The terminal space is pretty bad. Okay, we want to do this. Uh, I'm going to pig this. I think we want to call on this. Sure. Uh, we definitely want to pitch those. You can pitch those. You can keep these. You can pitch those. Um, so this is nine. It's a couple buys. Oh yeah. Uh, let's go Royal Carriage Market Square. I mean, I want another carriage. I think I want another Market Square. So what we're gonna do, what we're gonna try to set up for here is changeling stuff. So actually having Market Squares is kind of nice for that. Well, because for a couple reasons. We want extra buys, for one. But additionally, you did find your enchantress. Well, I mean, I guess I can't ask for all the luck in the world. Um, yeah, the play order in the action phase is, again, it's not trivial here. This, this capitalism doesn't do doesn't do anything? Well, okay. I knew it didn't do much. I didn't realize it did stone nothing. I... This is very cute, and it's one of the better cases for Counting House. I still think it's kind of too cute here. You're going to take another seller? You're going to take a beggar? Beggar could react and gain you changelings. That'd be fun. I mean, you're playing Enchantress every turn, or I am. We both are, pretty much. Okay, let's, what do we want to pig here? It's probably got to be the oracle. I think we pitch these, because this is just going to end our turn with not enough good stuff. Well, this is not fantastic either. Okay, what do I want here? More cards, mostly, right? Double market square seems fine. I mean, I could take a seller and another village. Let's go with the market squares for now. Hopefully it's going to alleviate what we've got to do with our carriages. So you're going to get your counting house back up here. I want to start buying a lot of changelings, as well as some groundskeepers soon, probably. Maybe not the groundskeepers quite yet. I need a little more draw still, as well. I think I have nine money in my deck, which is like the amount to get a few changelings, probably. I assume you keep those. I hope you pitch these for me. Because it makes my mine mountain villages better when you pitch for me. It 
It's hard for me to think that playing the beggar is actually going to be good for you here, but maybe. You discard two cards. You don't have any more sellers left. you got to be playing the... I was going to say the counting house first, but I guess it doesn't matter this way. What do you do here? Seller, groundskeeper, royal carriage, sure. Okay, so let's pick one of these. Pick up a market square here. Oracle, pitch those, pitch those. Call the carriage, keep those. Pitch those. We want to make sure we find the Enchantress here. Pitch those. Pitch those. Cool. Um, I think I'd rather keep yeah, well, it's not exactly what we wanted, but I'd, I'd rather keep the, let's go with a changeling, an oracle, and a seller. I wanted to keep the, uh, the royal carriage down. You have a second mountain village now, okay. So your deck is getting to be kind of reliable. This is a lot of calls on villages that's surprising to me. Sure. You've got to pitch those, right? Okay. Discard one more card. Play your counting house have 10 money, so you're missing a little bit here. Um, wow, you don't have nearly so many market squares, huh? Do this first. Okay. Um, this is what we want to get picked. Top deck those. Pick up the Oracle. Pick up the Enchantress. probably want to pitch these. I probably played this in a bad order. Top deck those. Pitch those. Not good. Okay. Um another village and another changeling now.
Yeah, not having the crop rotation hit hurts. got to pick these up, right? You've got to pitch these for me. I guess you don't have to, but seems like it's probably better. Only three cards, huh? I mean, you should have two more sellers in here, but and you're going to want to play a market square. Calling the carriage on this has got to be not where you want to be. It's the bottom card of the market square. It's not. That would have been nice. You're going to play the counting house. Yeah. Um, if you can trigger the shuffle here, it's probably, well, you'd want to draw like a couple of cards. Two buys isn't a lot of buys. But you're going to keep taking groundskeepers, sure. Enchantress first, crop rotation, great. One. Let's call them both, I guess. I think I might actually stop here. Get some golds. Get a gold. Um, Yeah. Gonna need to pick up some more, or some groundskeepers probably. My biggest hope here is that you don't have that many gains. Also, like, if your deck falls apart once, it could be kind of bad for you, right? My deck is just not that reliable, though. It's a really fun fun deck that my opponent is playing. Maybe it's good, too. I don't know. I would like this turn to buy Groundskeeper and a bunch more Changelings. This doesn't look like your hand is going super well. But, I mean, it can't be that bad, right? You've got... You do have two Market Squares. Okay. Whoa, you're playing the Beggar. Okay, and now you sell her, uh-huh. Shouldn't you have sellered more and also not sellered the gold? Um, maybe selling the gold is fine, but sell her more than that, right? You discard those, sure. Um, 15, is this going to be triple groundskeeper? No. Okay, you're scoring a bit now. Sure. Well, we got to do this first. Uh, we pick one of these. Seller. Village. Oracle. Keep these. Um, we let you top deck these. Let's pitch them. Definitely pitch those. Good. Skipping that many things has got to be good, right? 
We have two down. Okay, so we'll top deck these. Into this. We want groundskeeper. Maybe we just keep taking groundskeepers here. Could also go like changeling X. The X could be a beggar or a seller. Um, hmm. Let's take the groundskeeper. having pretty good luck getting your crop rotations off. Okay, this is not so many gains. Maybe Changeling Seller was better. This is a lot of groundskeepers. This is almost all your groundskeepers. And you found a mountain village. Okay. Which lets you find your other mountain villages, of course. Which lets you find your market square, which you probably really want. Because you want the gains, you probably keep those. You're definitely going to make me pitch these. You play your counting house now. I'm going to need you to dot at some point, I believe. I believe. So there's a bunch of cards still down there. Um, this could be Groundskeeper, Groundskeeper Estate. Goes Duchy with the Changeling. Okay. I think if you would have just taken all these groundskeepers, that would have been pretty good. I think you're gonna go mountain village, mountain village, trying to prevent yourself from dudding. I might be able to steal. Oh, you didn't find your enchantress. Hello, Johnny Cash. Um. Yeah, let's pick that up. Pitch those. Um, you can pitch those. Definitely pitch those. You can pitch those. those, carriage, Pitch those, yes, yes. Um, this is nine money, I think we can do better. Okay, fine, let's leave these, you can leave these. So, 
do I need to take these groundskeepers now? Maybe. And I guess I'm going to take an estate already. Uh, I need more money. I really would have liked to have one more money here to pick up a changeling. I could take beggar, but that seems so bad. Let's take this. Um, 12 money. Does 13 money get me enough more? I think let's say no for now. have a lot more gains than you, and I'm going to have four groundskeepers. It's going to take me two more turns here, at least to end the game. Yeah, that, that estate was probably bad. I should have been anything else. You're, take, you're playing this beggar, sure, and now you're going to sell her through more. You get to pick up your counting house. Yeah, the estate had to... Well, I mean, I guess the thing I can say for the estate is that it does help with crop rotation a little bit. You have to keep in mind that you do have one changeling left in your deck. Yeah, I like the Counting House deck here. I don't know if it's... I don't think you should make me pitch those. I don't know how good it is, but it's at least close. And maybe it is just really good. Um, and it's certainly fun. Uh-huh. 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 Now you play the counting house. Sure, you could play a thing first. Do you not have any more draw? You don't. You have two. You could double province here, or you could take, like, this is probably a changeling in your hand. Um, you could take, like, triple duchy for changelings. I mean, I should probably keep building. Are you going to take changelings? You are taking changelings. So, like, I have to a little worry about pile outs on the changelings. <laughs> And the carriages and the mountain villages. Like, I need you to dud very soon now. You're taking another counting house? That's not what I was expecting. So this is the thing to pick for sure. Let's pick up, I guess, the Enchantress. Pitch those. This is a little bit risky. Make you pitch those for sure. Let's call on this. Top deck these. You can top deck those. Play the carriage. Play the market square. Okay, good. Play the market square. Pick up the oracle. Play the oracle. Pitch those for sure. Top deck those for sure. Carriage. Mountain Village, pick up the silver, top deck these, top deck these, call a carriage, top deck these, top deck these, um, call a carriage, 
top deck these, top deck these, groundskeeper, groundskeeper, market square, market square. Good. This is exactly what we wanted a top deck. Gonna keep one carriage down. Um, so we need to take a changeling, I think. Although that really opens me up to losing. And probably a duchy. And like a beggar. Maybe another estate at this point. Because I just don't have time. Take duchy, that's a changeling. Duchy, that's not a changeling. And I think I'm going to go with the estate because I don't have time to wait around beyond that. Just got to keep hoping that my deck goes okay. Um, I'm a little worried I might lose right now, but I don't think not lowering changelings was really going to help, help me enough. I need you to not have your best possible turn at least. Yes! This is the downside of the deck you're playing. Chantress, crop rotation, groundskeeper, groundskeeper. Mountain village, oracle. Pitch those, pitch those. Call. Pitch those. Pitch those. Pick up one of these. Like I needed to get further in my deck here. Okay, uh, I think we need to pitch those. Make you pitch those. We did not draw too much here. Um, right, we probably want to pick up the carriage here and go like duchy, estate, estate. We have three in play. I mean, I could try to draw on here, but I don't think it's doing enough for me. We could go with state, estate, estate, estate. I don't want to lower changelings anymore. Estate, 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 estate. That's four, 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 four. That doesn't even catch me up to you. Maybe just one estate there and take a another seller or something. I don't really want to lower those either, though. Let's take the estate. I don't know. I need your deck to continue falling apart. Picking an oracle, playing a carriage. You have seller, okay. Only discarded three, did discard a changeling. It's gonna be a little bit hard for you. What did you keep in hand? What are you keeping in hand here? It's gotta be a counting house, right? It's gonna be a little bit hard for you to pile here, right? Because you're not gonna draw that much. I really need my carriages to be going on my oracles. There's the counting house. This could be discarding a bunch of coppers and then your other counting house picks up. 
I guess that's a reason to get a second counting house. So like this could still be pretty bad for me. I assume you're gonna play counting house now. Yeah. And triggering now is fine to good. So I would expect that to happen here. I don't think you're likely to be able to win. If you pick up, I guess if you pick up like uh, market square here, play market square that gets you to a third buy, call carriage that gets you to a fourth buy. Um, that doesn't do it though, even with a change link, your gain short. So I don't, yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. Surprised you're calling on the village though. Shouldn't you be able to call on something else that's better? You should play like a groundskeeper here to trigger the shuffle. You definitely wanna trigger this shuffle. And here's a bunch of groundskeepers and some more plus buy. You can sell her. I mean, you can sell her more coppers here. You probably don't want to sell her too many more. Play an enchantress. Play a second enchantress if you got it. Okay, so you have, what do you have in your hand? I mean, assume one of these cards is the changeling, but why wouldn't you have Oh, you have a lot of changelings. You have a lot of changelings. Yeah, you can just win now. Great. I don't know why I was thinking you only had one. Yeah, cool, cool deck from my opponent there. Thanks for watching.